Hey, what is up guys? This is Steve back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Revenge OS on this device and this is the 19th August 2019 build of the Revenge OS on this device. Here is how the quick settings panel looks like and on this ROM you will find everything to be looking a little bit different from any other custom ROMs. On the top you can see the time and the date is to the left top and here we have the weather and then we have the battery network and like quality icon and even wi-fi and the, if the phone is in like silent or vibrate that like thing is there and here we have the quick toggles you can add more toggles if you want to from here so this is kind of the options and we have the recorder and stuff over here and this quick setting toggle colors you can change them like however you want there is no issues regarding this quick setting toggles at all and the animations over here in this ROM is really really great. If you look at the like kind of notifications, it has some kind of rounded corners to the edges. So this looks really really different and pretty cool I would say. Let me quickly go into the settings and here is how the settings panel looks like. The icons too over here as you can see are a little bit different. If you go about section, you will find the Android version. Here we have the Revenge OS icon or the logo. Then we have as the like stock kernel is the PURCF X8 kernel and then we have Revenge OS 2.5 Pasta official wired like build and here you can see this is the 19th August 2019 build and for some reason the security patch is not here so let me go back if you go into system we have a system updater you can check for updates from here as you can see this is the official update checker and it does work fine I would say and here we have the gestures option too so that we have the swipe to take screenshot option over here and the swipe up on home and the double tap to sleep even on the navigation bar is there if you use this enable full gesture mode for this android pill kind of gesture let me go back yes this rom does have kind of like pretty good amount of customization if you go into customization you will find this kind of like things over here we have status bar items the headset bluetooth etc icons and if you notice that these like the toggles looks a little bit different and this toggle style looks pretty dope. Let me go back. Then we have status bar battery style. You can set it to portrait circle, dotted circle, etc. And it already like looks like Android Q on the portrait mode. And over here we have the battery percentage. You can set it to next to the icon, inside the icon or even hide it. Then we have traffic indicator and stuff. Then let's go back. We have the like quality icon and stuff in the misc settings. We have the double tap gesture for the like status bar as you can see it does make the phone into sleep and the fingerprint scanner speed over here as you can see it's really fast pretty close to the like resurrection remix rom i would say and as you can see the fingerprint scanner like unlocks the device pretty quickly and we have the quick pull down and stuff but one thing let me tell you that there is no like brightness adjustment or over here through the status bar so as you can see that feature is simply missing i think over here and if you go into notification panel we have the heads up disabling option then we have the battery charging light or notification LED customizations inside navigation bar we have the normal nav bar and you can like tune it however you want you can invert the layout and stuff and let me go back we do have the edge gestures and these edge gestures does work fine although you can't really disable the vibration for this edge gestures so that is how it is let me go back inside lock screen we have the face auto unlock and stuff and by the way all the lock screen like customizations that you want is in the security not here here is just like simple customizations like face auto unlock double tap to sleep and lock screen and the temperature unit so this is how it is here as you can see we have the lock screen tuner let me go back into system and buttons we have the power menu customization so advanced reboot is there I just double tap my power button because it's broken. So inside advanced, we have the directly rebooting option to recovery or fast boot or just soft reboot or the system UI reboot. And also we have the screen of power button torch. This works fine. Let me go back. So now let's go to security. And if you go to lock screen preference, here you will find the fingerprint unlock or the force fingerprint unlocking option is here so that you don't have to like enter your pin even after you reboot your phone you can just tap the fingerprint scanner and it will unlock the device and here we have the clock style and stuff android q text i have set it to so let me just lock the device and this is how the clock looks like as you can see looks pretty dope the lock screen and even the notification has some kind of rounded corners so everything over here in this rom looks pretty dope i would say 
if you go into battery settings and let me tell you the battery life over here well it did not impress me it, it was like kind of average i'm getting around six and a half to seven hours of screen on time maximum so i would say it's fine it's pretty decent let me go back and inside display settings we have the live display mode over here as you can see and the night light option is not here or like which makes the display yellowish for that you have to enable this live display and it will like go to the night mode and the display will be like totally yellow so that is how it is for the night light or something like that if you expecting it and look and feel we have the color theme over here this changes like these kind of colors of the whole ui so we have a lot of options for these kind of colors and it looks pretty dope all over the ui we have the device theme you can change it to automatic or light or dark then we have the use dark theme when battery saver and stuff for amoled displays redmi note 5 pro does not have one so that's how it is and you can set the dark theme to dark or like totally fully black which is the amoled mode let me go back then we have the ambient display and double tap to wake is there and double tap to wake is working fine too let me show you as you can see double tap to wake does work super fine and now let me talk about some other things well yes MIUI camera is present by default over here like the stock camera over here is the MIUI camera if you want google camera yes you can install it too i'll link it below in the description if you want to MIUI camera is working fine no issues whatsoever even though the slow motion mode and stuff does not work on the MIUI camera so that's how it is to the left of this stock launcher we have the google now cards and if you want to know what is the stock launcher let me show you that this is a revenge launcher it says in the name let me show you the app's info as you can see it says revenge launcher but let me tell you that this is kind of a quick step launcher let me show you the settings again inside gestures we have the double tap to sleep anywhere gesture and it does work fine you can swipe down anywhere from the like anywhere on the home screen to get the quick settings panel and of course to the left google now cards again widgets and stuff is working fine and talking about google pay yes banking apps like google pay does work super fine in this rom now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management over here let's open file explorer facebook twitter play store youtube instagram now let's open all the apps from memory again So as you can see, the app of speeds and the RAM management here is pretty fine. Now let me open PUBG quickly over here. And by the way, I have installed this LED RGB remote to check if the IR blaster of this device is working fine. Yes, the IR blaster does work fine. Now let me show you the sound settings over here quickly so that I can show you if there is the Mi Audio Direct. So in the sound settings on the bottom, you can see there is no Mi Audio Direct. Or that is simply not present over here but the sound output via the headphone jack or even bluetooth as well in this device or like in this rom is pretty fine it's not bad at all it's pretty flat kind of profile and in the like sound settings you also get the in-call vibration options so that is pretty great but we do miss the like me audio direct over here so in terms of PUBG, i would say there are not much of like interesting things because there is only smooth and medium settings then if you go balanced there is only balanced and medium and you can't simply go on the HD settings over here in this ROM. So in terms of gaming performance, I would give it a 3 out of 10. So that is how it is because simply we do not get the like higher settings than that in this ROM. Here is the stock dialer on this ROM. As you can see, we do get the recording call option and Volte calls and stuff does work super fine in this ROM. And even video calling is present if you want Volte calling. Yes, it is working fine in this ROM. And in the display settings, I do not see any kind of font changing option over here. This is the default font present over here and this is how it looks. You can see it from the screen. So let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this Revenge OS latest build on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tiro from KD and Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.